boys, 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 and girls. Okay, not a hell of a lot happened this week because of this, I, I don't want to say a nasty word, but this load shedding. You know, it cut our working days to one third of what we were used to. You don't get stuff all done. You know, so, all right. But, even so, I put two more panels up. So, I've got now three, six, nine, twelve meters paneled. And then today I did this. I welded up to there, which is exactly halfway. And I just put that board down there now, which is why I'm out of breath. And, uh... Yeah, so the straight now is 15 meters, and then the corner. And uh, through the week, when I was here, we did, we did um, another ceiling here. But there's a slight little problem. Because this, this cross beam here is for some other reason slightly like this. So we got 59 mil at the top and 55 in the middle here and then 58 in there and then 55 there. So this one we'll have to cut very, very carefully. I'm also out of material. So Monday I'll have to order 20 boards, uh, 3 meters, 64 mil thick, 3 meters by um, 1.2 rhino board and then 20 of these 16 mil presswood boards so I can then I have enough for the tables um, we went the last time up onto the roof to just there was one leak here and we fixed that but this thing is watertight now so um, that makes it nice so I can put my boards down no problem however I just moved that piece of of ceiling in there now. I'll just make it straight. But anyway, so I looked it down. Okay, I'm probably going to break my neck now, but look at this. Let me give you an aerial view of where we are now. Hey, 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 hey. Isn't that pretty? It's a behemoth. I mean, not even halfway. I mean, up to there where the panel is, that's three, six. 9, 12 meters, yeah. So there's still a good 22 meters down here. That way. Yeah, it's a behemoth. Anyway, all right, so that's that's basically what we did. On, let me just get down here. If you hear a god awful scream, and, uh, okay, I'm down. So don't worry about that too much. Um, all right. Then, in between, when the power is off, I masked the the body on the 34. I'm going to go show you now. And I painted that that um, Spurnet logo on. Slight shading. Not too bad. I can do a better job. But it's much better than the decal. Let me go show you. Walk with me. Um, I will show you in another video the other plans we made this week for... You know, to actually look at people when they start running here. Uh, food and all that sort of stuff. Okay, well, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. That, it's not bad. Much better. Um, I cut out of um, very, very thin pl plastic. Neo cut me some stencils like these. You see. The other ones are lying here somewhere. Here they are. So they look like this. Very thin material. We laser cut them quickly. And it works. It works well. You just got to mask and go very, very slow with the paint. This was four coats of Tamiya. And I ran it over about half an hour. Coat. Ten minutes to dry. Coat. Just dusting it. Otherwise, it will seep in there. Um, I'm happy with that. Look, in between there. 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 That, there, there I had seepage. Not seepage, but overspray. Um, 
I will see if I can clean that with a toothpick um, or make a tool or whatever that will go in there and then that should be happy tappy um, I will do another video tomorrow I want to show you some stuff that we are changing on this specific model to do the lights the lights have always bugged me you know I want a sort of an insert like like this like Andrew did there um, so we are modifying that front box um, and tapering a hole. I, I'm not going to be as fancy as that. I'll, I'll just paint it chrome. But uh, yeah, yeah. And that's all going to go onto the 35. I will show you the 35 as soon as I've got something to show you. With this load shedding, it's going so bloody slowly. It's not even funny. All right, guys. So that's that. Let's take a last walk back. We've got 20 minutes and then the power is going to go again. We had a hell of a lot of rain. Check how green the grass is, eh? Needs a cut. We cut it last week, but you can actually hear it growing at night when it's quiet and there's a full moon. <laughs> okay, yeah, and then I want to tell you as well, yeah, this wall is getting like really, really big. Um, I'm going to start painting. Once I got that last board up there, okay, I'm going to weld another piece on there. I haven't got another board to put down there. But I will make a plan that I can put another side panel on. And then uh, I'm going to start painting it. White at the top, black at the bottom. That will keep me busy. And I can do that when the power is off. Because there's enough light here, in here during the day. Um, so that I can do that. So I'm going to start painting it. So next, next video, when we're in here, there should be some color. Or it will be white. It will not be this um, dull color. I need to do some touching up here and there with uh, polyfiller, which I will do tomorrow. And then uh, we can start painting. I'm going to get the paint tomorrow. Lacquer, man. So that's that, boys. Right. Um, it's not a very long video. I'm going to go. And then uh, hold thumbs for me. As we go down there, um, I'm going to have to buy the material. That's going to be a packet. But, yeah. Okay, dudes, I'm going to go. Have a lovely weekend further. And then we speak later. Goed jylle tot ziens.